Taxpayers, beware of unreliable advice this filing season. We're nearly two weeks away from tax deadline day. And with April 15th fast approaching, many people will turn to platforms like TikTok for the last minute tips on taxes. But how do you determine what information is most reliable and applicable for you? Like when you see a viral TikTok post telling Americans to stop paying taxes by illegally exempting themselves from tax withholdings. That's just one instance. What do we even mean by all of this? For more on how to validate reliable versus unreliable tax advice, I'm joined by Greg Kling, who is the USC Marshall School of Business Associate Professor of the Practice of Accounting. Greg, great to have you here with us. Let's kick this off first and foremost with the number one identifier, perhaps, that people can look for when they are on social media and seeing a lot of these tax tips flow around this time of year. Well, first of all, thank you for having me uh, this morning. Always a pleasure. It, you know, it might sound a little bit of a cliche, but I, I think the number one identifier is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And, and by that, I mean, I, I don't want to just put skepticism out there. There are, there are a lot of good tax planning strategies, but unfortunately, a lot of the misinformation out there is just downright wrong. And so... Of the information that you've seen flowing around, what, what are some of the common, perhaps, or most repeated tips that have been really permeating throughout social media and, and where some of the users should beware? Well, I, I think we can broadly put them into two categories. So the first one is, and, and by the way, this one is not new. It's what we call the tax protester arguments. And it really just centers around the belief that taxes are not allowed in the United States, and so I don't need to pay taxes. And again, we call those folks the tax protesters. That's just flat out wrong. Uh, you know, without going into the weeds on this, income taxation is here in the United States, both on a federal level and for many of the states. So that's just flat out wrong. You need to pay your income taxes. Great. Let's say the other broad group is. I'll call it the influencer advice, which hmm. is you're an influencer, you go on vacation, you buy clothing and all, you know, travel, meals, hotels, and you put up on TikTok or, or some other platform, I'm an influencer, I can deduct all of my expenses and get my income down to zero. Again, that's just flat out wrong as well. Greg. Context matters. You know this. I know this. And, and a lot of people filing, they know this as well, because there's certainly so many different forms that they have to fill out, so many different pieces of paperwork that they have to pull together to ensure that the government gets the full context of what their last year has entailed here. So uh, I believe, you know, even as we're thinking about some of the top profiles, sure, we've talked about the ones to be aware of, but are there top profiles that you've seen out there that maybe you even follow from time to time? You know, I, I would say for me specifically, I don't. And that's only because of the space I'm in. I mean, being a, a teacher, needing to stay up on the tax law on my own, I also uh, do um, uh, updates for CPAs and other tax preparers. So candidly speaking, I don't. And I think it's also, I'm just very weary of the, the misinformation out there. So yeah, I'm probably the guy in the group that if, if I want to find an answer, I will go look it up myself. All right, Greg, we got to leave things there for today, but uh, certainly great context to add to this conversation of where we're getting some of those tips and where we're also pulling in the professionals, the advisors out there as well. Greg Kling, who's the USC Marshall School of Business Associate Professor. Thank you so much for taking the time, Greg. Thank you. Glad to be here.